so excited. Like get in the zone of like writing garbage. It's not good. I'm a little bit stressed. The words are not wording. This is an exhausting process. I am having the hardest time writing this book. Like half of me wants to just give up. Hi friends. <laughs> I am doing it again. I'm writing a bucket of lawn. Here we are, here we are. We're outside to start this. A little while ago, I said I was taking all of May to write my book. And then <laughs> my professors decided that they wanted to push all of their due dates for my finals very far into May. And I was like, that is not cool with me. So I basically did all my finals as fast as I could, which really was only a day before the last ones do. So cheers to that. But that's still one more day I get to work on my book, which I have to start. So today is kind of like my day. I didn't account for this day because I was like, I'm going to start on Monday. Today's Sunday. I turned in my last final literally like 20 minutes ago. And I was like, I'm not going to have time to start today, but I, I'm going to try. And also since like my classes start up again on like the 22nd, it's going to be like a condensed version <laughs> of last time. It is fucking hot out. I wanted to like get in the mode of writing my story. And I think I've said before famously <laughs> that I don't like to read stories that are at all similar to my books as I'm writing them. Um, but I'm gonna kind of forget that rule for a little bit. Oh my God, I love Big Oh my God. My dog just tried to eat a bee. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I'm forgetting that rule for the minute because I did this writing exercise in one of my writing classes recently and I really enjoyed what kind of mindset it put me in. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little writing exercise. I have just a random notebook here because I did not bring my, my book notebook because why would I do that? And I have a Cuban girl's guide to tea and tomorrow. This is just like a YA contemporary I plucked off my shelf and I am going to pick something kind of random in this book, maybe actually a beginning chapter. And I'm just going to like write it down word for word and just to get the feel for the sentences, for the flow, for the tone, um, and just feel what it's like to write this type of book. Because I have been writing like short stories and like random other things that I've been doing for class. I'm not really in the mode for writing my YA contemporary and I haven't been reading a ton of them either. So I want to like just put myself back in that mindset by just like literally <laughs> copying these. I'm not like plagiarizing. I'm just like, like practicing. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I might also do another book as well um, just to practice more, but I think it's it's a really nice exercise and I would recommend it if you're a writer as well um, to get in the feel of like writing the sentences and how it works. <laughs> I don't know. It makes you like stop and think about sentence structure, diction, and stuff like that uh, more. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Was It's a little later. So I am sitting down after dinner to write. Oh my God, guys, I'm like literally so excited. I've been excited all day <laughs> to do this, but um, not all day, basically since I last talked to you. I have thought about how I'm gonna start my chapter, my first chapter, my first words. I'm so excited. I just rewatched my last video, my last um, writing a book video. Um, <laughs> and now I'm like so excited. It is 6.35 and I'm just about to take my first sip of coffee. And I'm sitting down to start my writing for the day. I have a little bit of a different schedule today. Although I do want to see how writing this early in the morning gets me. It goes. <laughs> Yesterday I wrote about 1800 words. I'm counting it as like a freebie, freebie day because I wasn't anticipating even having that time. So I didn't want to like push myself to the edge. I kind of only worked for like an hour. I think like very short amount of time and I worked on the first chapter. This is this book um my outline's a little bit different um because I have two perspectives and I'm changing perspectives at least according to my outline every chapter will that be the same in the end product who knows but I am doing that um so I know like how long a chapter should be and my chapters are typically relatively short where was I going with this? <laughs> I was writing this first chapter and I did this thing where I, I was looking at my notes, I swear, but 
I missed a part of it. And I might have even checked it off. Oh, I did not. Oh, check it off. So I have to go back, which is fine. I like was not gonna write that much yesterday and that's fine. Anyway, so I only wrote 1800 words in my first draft. I wrote 1848 words in my first chapter. So I'm gonna go back and add more to this chapter and hopefully break into the second chapter as well. I'm anticipating the first chapter being like 3000 words because I have a couple things I need to accomplish. I need to wake up a little bit. <laughs> I know a lot of it is just like garbage right now. So I have to just kind of like get in the zone of like writing garbage. Because right now it is not, it's not Shakespeare, you know? The words are not wording. I was trying to come up with a phrase yesterday that I was writing. I was like typing it and I was like, <laughs> and it was just, it was not English and I was like, I'll leave it. I'll figure it out later. Yeah, I don't know what that says. Anyway, I'm gonna go back. I typically work chronologically, but this is gonna be a little bit different for me. But yeah, I'm hopefully gonna get a good chunk of writing done this morning, and then I'm going out in the mid-morning, noon, afternoon portion. So hopefully I'll get another chunk done in the evening. But this is gonna be my first sprint, I guess, of the day. And we've made it to chapter two. I basically wrote a thousand words. <laughs> um, I'm at 2,800 and five words and I am gonna stop for the morning because I have to start getting ready. But I finished the first chapter and I added basically how much I thought I was. I was like, I don't wanna say I'm gonna hit 3000 words for the first chapter, but I also don't wanna like jinx myself. I am just updating my pacemaker planner. Yeah, so that was like 957 words so far for the day and I didn't even write for an hour. So. This next chapter I've written before or i've written some of it before i actually really want to find it i i had okay so i like started this idea of this book a while ago don't ask me when <laughs> like the names and stuff have changed so okay i found a doc i think i started writing this like once i had the idea and then i just kind of was like writing little scenes and stuff and i even started a scrivener document which has since been deleted so i don't know where that is it's in the ether so <laughs> but okay this is from a different part of the book okay that's not necessary right now but like the characters names were different there wasn't like the entire like my female character did not have a plot <laughs> she did not have her own motivations so it's a very different book now I've written this part before so now i can actually check off so yeah we have i, I was just about to tell you what's gonna happen <laughs> So basically this character is gonna do this. <laughs> well, stupid. Anyway, I'm hoping to write all of my next chapter as well today. I should be really writing like a chapter a day, I think, since they're like 3,000-ish words. I have to write a bunch more words today. But I, oh, what I was gonna say is I didn't listen to any music while I was writing. And I don't know if that made me faster, but I'm gonna say that I did. I don't know. I feel also like a psychopath sometimes when I'm not listening to music and working because like what? Yesterday I was listening to my playlist for this book because <laughs> I've already made a lot of it. This is not going to be like the same kind of playlist I made for my last book because my last book like had lots of mentions of songs in it. I don't know if I'm going to mention songs. I might probably at some point because I think that they're like character development thing. <laughs> my main character is like a Patti Smith girl. <laughs> I also have Lady Gaga on this playlist. It's a good playlist. I've been obsessed with the Joanne album. I'm going to go get uh, changed <laughs> and starting on my day um, and then I'll be back to do more words. I'm done writing for the day. I wrote 2,829 words today. About a thousand more than I wrote yesterday, which is good. And I have to write less than that every day now, a little bit less. I have to write like 2,700 words every day. So that's exciting. Wee Chapter two is done. Hello friend, it is day three of writing my book. It is 10.30 and I have written 2,181 words. I've done two writing sprints of the day, writing little times. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I am trying to like reshuffle like my life <laughs> because I think having my run later in the day might be like a nice break from writing rather than like getting it over with and done in the morning. I don't know. That's what I'm trying today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I do feel like my first sprint, I get into a flow and then after that, it's just like garbage. <laughs> it is garbage but it's fine. I'm definitely going to write a little bit more later today, but I do think I finished my third chapter, which is nice. I can check off my boxes. Oh, just kidding. I did not finish my third chapter because there's another thing I have to do. Let's, I will do that later. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting in my flow in the first sprint, and then after that, it's just kind of like a shit show. My dog is snoring. My main characters have not met yet, 
but I did, oh, I re, okay. I did a little bit of like research while I was writing today. I first, I looked at um, the open, not the opening scene. I thought it was the opening scene, but I'm incorrect. There's a scene in, this is so unrelated and you're gonna like get so confused about what my book is about, but I'll tell you anyway. There's a scene in Last Night in Soho that I, that I, I don't reference, but I like, needed to watch in order to write the scene. And it's a little nod, it's a little nod to Last Night in Soho. And it's like the most, like you are never, like if you read this book, you're not gonna go, mm, Last Night in Soho. That's, that's what that's about. No, <laughs> it's so random. Anyway, I just needed to get a feel for the scene I was writing. Um, and then I also was like, mm, how do these characters dress? Cause I just met the first chapter, we just have like our main character and kind of a side character. But then um, the second chapter we have like definitely like a main character and a couple side characters. And this chapter we introduced two of the like secondary characters. And I was like, how do they dress? Like, what do they wear? And I like <laughs> Pinterest, <laughs> I was like, what do they wear? Um, so um, that was fun. Knowing what like my characters look like is like important to me because I think that also like helps me like envision how they like move and um, interact with like the world and, and their bodies. I don't know. <laughs> I already established one of the relationships, which is kind of exciting. I'm gonna write probably another like 500 words later, 500, 600 words. I think I have more to do and then we'll call it for the day. But I'm, I'm happy that I've already written so much and it's like 10.30. So I'm gonna go on my run now. I have a day where we are recording the podcast. If you didn't know, I have a podcast. It's called Child of the Trash. I write it with my bestie, Maggie, and we are recording two episodes today. So I did some of the notes for that during my writing break and why there's so many noises in my house. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready to go on my run and I will update you for my final word count uh, of the day. So <laughs> um, it is the end of the day. I love this lighting, I'm so sorry. I finished writing for the day a little while ago. My brother came home and so I wrote my last little, I don't know, like 600 words or something. My suitcase is still here. <laughs> I have not unpacked. <laughs> I need to do that. I will do that. Uh, maybe tonight. Wrote 2,708 words today. So a little bit below my daily word count goal, but I just wanted to finish the chapter. So I wasn't like, I plussed about it, you know? That means I have written 7,385 words on this current draft. I finished chapter three. So I needed just like that little bit to just propel, push. It, it's not good, but to just, <laughs> I feel like I have such a different vibe. I don't know if I said this in my video last time I, I did this crazy drafting process, but like I feel no confidence about what I'm writing. <laughs> I am just like, get the story down, fix it later. I'm like keeping my head down and just working through it, but it's not good. Anyway, I just had to like propel it to where, not technically where the next scene, next uh, chapter starts because the next chapter is gonna go back a little bit and then it's gonna meet up with this timeline. It's all fine. <laughs> It's all fun and games, so don't worry about it. But I have had such a hard time these last couple of days, like reading. So I'm reading, okay, I have this check for like $5 and I don't know what to do with it because it's for a bank account I no longer have. Anyways, I've been reading The Way of Kings and I was gonna do a video on this. I'm, listen, I'm like three days into writing my book. So like, I don't wanna make any grandiose statements about what I'm doing this month, but like, I do not think reading books are gonna happen. I thought they were, I don't think they are anymore <laughs> because I have not wanted to pick this up. Not because I wasn't loving this. I was living and breathing this for a minute. I was reading it every day for like four days and I am like 300 pages into it, 350 actually. And I'm loving it. It's so good. <laughs> it's like really, really good, but it's so not my vibe right now. And I've been watching a lot of like writing videos. I just started Novelist as a Vocation by um, Murakami me. And I'm also like, I'm thinking that might be like the only thing I can really read right now. But I've also been ri watching writing videos. And one like thing that I've seen is people reading things that influence their writing. And I have always tried not to do that because I don't want to copy someone. But now I'm like going back on that and I'm like, should I just be reading YA Contemporaries? Because that's the mindset I'm in. That is the story I'm trying to tell. And I'm like, should I just be not reading? Because I don't I have this like chunk of time at the end of the day where I don't know what to do. And I literally, I, <laughs> I exhaust myself during the day because I like go on a run. I sit at a computer for too long. Oh my God. And I'm just like tiring myself day after day. Like this is an exhausting process. So by the time it's like, you know, five, six o'clock, hopefully when I get done for the day, I'm like dead, I'm depleted. I don't want to do anything, but like I should read, but there's nothing I want to read. <laughs> I'm having a problem. I'm having a problem. It puts me in a bad mood generally, Gen genuinely, because I'm like, literally I'm not feeling productive if I'm not writing and I can't write all day. There's no, ugh. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I don't know. If I get any good like tidbits or advice from this Murakami book, I will definitely share them. 
uh, with you and if I have any updates on what I'm reading because I just don't think I'm gonna get around to doing a, a reading vlog this month. I just, I had high hopes and now I'm like exhausted. <laughs> I have no brain cells and I don't want to read. <laughs> so that's what's going on. And I had to do the podcast today, which just went so badly. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Listen to my podcast. I put a lot of work into it. And I put a lot of work into everything <laughs> I do. <laughs> Except the lighting. <laughs> This has been a rant about nothing. I really want to watch Queen Charlotte, <laughs> actually. That's what I want to do, but I'm watching with my parents and like, they're busy. They're never like available at the same time as, as I am and stupid. Anyway. Hello friends. It's time to update you on my writing. I did not update yesterday. That's my bad. <sighs> it's definitely been like a hard start to this book. Like each day I feel like I'm pushing myself really hard. <laughs> so it's definitely not like flowing, <laughs> at least like not most of the time. I also, I burnt my neck yesterday on my curling iron and I have a, a con ball in my ear because I have an ear thing going on. I'm doing amazing, don't worry about it. But I wrote 2,780 words yesterday. I finished chapter four and I started on chapter five. I did what I thought, which was that chapter four was a little bit shorter than the other chapters, only by like a few hundred words. It was just like a little shorter. And I was like, I was doing this thing where like each day my writing would be a chapter. And I was like, I don't know, like some chapters are gonna be longer, some chapters are gonna be shorter. Obviously I like to have like a consistent, like an average size of a chapter and like know what that is, but um, I'm not necessarily gonna be writing that every day. Um, so I started the fifth chapter Chapter. my main characters have met uh just now <laughs> and um that was really fun i think i'm just i'm still feeling out their voices and what they would do what they would say i have I have my beat sheet i have my outline i have all this stuff but like there's nothing like just like writing it and like feeling it out as you're writing it so that's really um, what I'm trying to do right now. I finished the Murakami book, Novelist as a Vocation. I really enjoyed it. He didn't say anything. Like, I mean, I didn't enjoy it as much as I liked his book about running. It's just like, damn, this guy is like amazing. <laughs> really huh, does a lot. And I think it also was more like personal stories, kind of, but also like advice, but not necessarily like, I don't know. I was gonna say not necessarily like how to, like not like an outline of his routine or anything. It's not like this is how you do this. It was just kind of like, this is what I typically do. This is how I feel about this. This is how I feel about this. And it was just like, I don't know. There were whole like chapters, like how he feels about like schools <laughs> or like um, literary awards and stuff. And I was like, okay, <laughs> so whatever. Uh, it was good, whatever. And I tried to start uh, why I don't write. And then I realized this is short fiction and I, a, don't like short fiction, and B, <laughs> wanted nonfiction. I actually just like cannot read fiction right now. It's not computing in my brain. So I started A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf because I didn't actually know this was nonfiction. It's like, it's very interesting. It like, I don't know, like blurs the line. She's like, she says in the beginning, she's like, hey, I'm gonna write a book about women in literature. I'm gonna like place myself as this quote unquote character and I'm gonna tell you about stuff. And yeah, I'm like, 15% into it. So I just started it this morning because I need an audiobook while I was doing my, my eardrops. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I'm a little bit anxious today. So we're gonna see how writing goes. I'm gonna go right now because it's eight o'clock and it's time to do it. I hate this cotton ball in my ear. Oh my god. No. Hello friends. So I just made a cup of tea. So we know that it is time for writing part two today. <laughs> so I wrote this morning. I think I told you. God, I don't know. I do not know. I also don't know if I'm gonna have a connection up here, which is a problem, but I'm moving up here because I cannot focus. Oh my God, I am having the hardest time writing this book. And I don't know why. I don't know why it's not going swimmingly. So there's that. Um, I'm like pretending like everything's fine because everything's fine in my book, but like nothing is fine about how I'm doing this process. Like I do not want to be writing. It's a real problem. So I'm up here to have a change of pace, change what I'm doing. I'm already writing these and I'm like, draft two, that's gonna be neat that's gonna need to change. Like that is like where I'm at while I'm writing this book. I'm like, we already know this. I don't know how to describe this. Fix it later. So yeah, but that's typically what I do anyway. Like I know that my first drafts of things typically are lacking in like description as like a big thing because I am love dialogue <laughs> and I love writing dialogue and sometimes I get a little carried away and I kind of forgot about other things. So I'm working on chapter six now and my tentative goal i only need to write i could tell you i could tell you i could tell you like how far through i am with my life right now i'm done i'm absolutely done so far today i've written 849 words plan my goal because i am kind of putting everything on the back burner i got some other things done today don't worry about it don't worry about anything i kind of want to just do chapter six which is like you know like 2500 words or so i'm gonna just try to do that <laughs> this is a chapter that 
I'm just, I know I'm struggling with this part of this one character's POV and like this plot line is um hard for me. <laughs> so I know it's challenging because I don't know a lot about what I'm writing about right now. I, how do you not know what you're writing about? I don't know. I know what I'm writing, but like, I don't know. I don't know. So it's very difficult. So going to write this, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to write this. Hopefully the change of pace, change of scenery in my room now will help. It's not even that I'm getting distracted because I'm trying to practice the write or do nothing mentality and it's okay to do nothing, but I just want to write. I want to be able to have a flow and I feel like I have not gotten in a flow while writing this book. I've had like sentences maybe that have been in a flow and that's about it. <laughs> not whole pat like hours of time. So I don't know what's wrong with me or this book. Oh, I did make a change last chapter there was something that i was going to reveal and it wasn't going to be like a big deal at all but then i was like would this be more interesting as a secret as like a secret for later that we can reveal to this character later and i was thinking about it and i was like that might be something fun to play with so i am keeping something a secret so now my now my characters have some secrets which is always fun to play around with It has not even been an hour. I've written 200 words and I'm like losing it. Like I, it's very frustrating and I don't know if it's like writer's block or what it is because I've literally never experienced this before in my life, but I feel like paralyzed and cannot write. It's kind of difficult when you're trying to write a book in a month. In a month. What am I going to do? Because I hate this. I, like I, it's driving me insane. I have this chapter to write and what I'm gonna do, I wrote down all the things that need to be accomplished in this chapter. Basically my beat sheet, I just wrote it down on a post-it. I have, you know, what, 200 words in the chapter or whatever. I am going to handwrite this chapter because I just don't think my brain and typing is not working. I'm hoping I can like handwrite and that will help get the words out. I'm just like, nothing about the words are wording and it's really freaking frustrating and I don't know what to do because I'm like I want to give up like half of me wants to just give up which is horrible because I know that this is what I do I write books and I've done it before I can do it again but also this is what I'm going to do for my life so like I need to fucking get it together anyway so I'm gonna go handwrite All right, so I managed to write quite a bit <laughs> while I was handwriting. I wrote this much. One, two, three. Three pages double-sided, one single-sided. My handwriting is garbage. Like literally the worst handwriting I've ever had. But I think I wrote 13,682 words and I'm done. I'm done, guys. Done for today. Today I wrote 3,517 words. <laughs> it's 1,671 words gonna be a short chapter. I mean, I did everything I wanted to do in this chapter, so whatever. <laughs> whatever, guys. I'm like over. Here's what I'm over. I'm over the fact that my chapters need to be all the same length, the fact that I need to write the same amount of words every day. I'm over it. I'm over it all. But I did not have fun typing all that up. That was not fun for me. Tomorrow I will be on chapter seven. So I wrote, sorry, I need to update my word count because I just, I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. I hated it hated every second of it, but I did it. I also have to do another thing I'm gonna loathe, but I have to edit my podcast. Just not that, I, I just, I, I hate matching, I hate syncing audio and video. That's what I hate. Like, it's my personal hell, but I do it. I do it every week, so I need to put this away. I need to stop looking at it. I just, uh, but yay, um, we're done. Hello, friends. So it is, I don't even know what day of this. Six? Day six, maybe? I am on my bed today because this is where I'm gonna work. I know that thing about like, shouldn't work where you sleep, <laughs> but I, as we know, struggled a lot yesterday. So I am hoping this new environment will just like bring something out of me 
and maybe that's creativity maybe that's frustration i don't know <laughs> i did take some notes yesterday this happens this is when i can tell i'm doing well is when like after i've done my writing for the day i wrote like a million words yesterday as we know i write notes to myself of things I want to add. The last chapter I wrote was chapter six and I think I told you it's pretty short and you know I'm a chronic underwriter. I know that that that's a thing about myself but I wrote down some like little things I could add into that chapter which was very helpful. <laughs> I I'm very happy that that happened that I had that like spark that thing of inspiration. Oh man. So I am going to start back in chapter six but then start up chapter seven again as well. I kind of am hoping to get two chapters done again today, chapter seven and eight, because I don't have anything else going on and I want to get cracking, you know? I think like having these higher word count days and being more productive, today I'm gonna try like in a longer period of time, like not taking really any breaks and seeing how that works or if like these short bursts work better for me. I'm just like trying to see that. But like having a longer writing day does like make me feel a little bit better. So about getting this all done this month. So I am gonna go back into chapter six with my little post-it guys and it should be like 200 words if if that and then start on chapter seven i had this idea of what i wanted to do the rest of my time today because i originally was going to write another chapter or at least start another chapter but i think i told you maybe i didn't <laughs> I don't recall. I wrote 2,801 words um, today. Um, so I was gonna write another chapter. That was my goal for today. I was like two chapters, do that. <laughs> but this next chapter I am going to write is like very setting heavy. I haven't done a lot of work with the setting. I think I've told you. <laughs> I basically struggle with everything, but like dialogue and character, everything else. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, especially in first drafts, I um, struggle with like descriptions and stuff because this book is set in a place I have actually never been currently. Was that a mistake? It's fine. I'm gonna go there before I do my second draft or as I'm doing my second draft. So it's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. I was like, what can I do to like inform setting? And also I'm noticing that I'm like, threading in some things and like I said earlier I was like now I have the secret I'm working with and now I need to know who knows the truth and like keep track of that and now I'm adding these other through lines that I have to like weave together so I I, I need to like go back to my outline and add some more notes um in my like beat sheet and then my notes document I have so much and I'm like you can see I'm just I'm a little bit stressed so now I have like a kind of like a story and b story and like I'm playing around with that there's no like fun little way to be like X character knows this. X character does not know this. <laughs> like, it's not helpful. So, um, I don't know how I'm gonna like write that in my notes. Not gonna write a second chapter today. I'm going to instead go back to my outline, go back to plotting, go back to adding in this like B story. Now, this also gives my, my other main character more to do because this main character, like, he started out. <laughs> I'm gonna be referring to them as their like personal pronouns because um, one go by, goes by he and one goes by she. He is the character that I started with in the story, and yet, until <laughs> recently, he didn't have a lot to do in this story, and he still doesn't have like a very active thing that's going on. He's having more of like an internal struggle, which is not a lot of like scene happening on the page, so it's really hard to show that. And I'm not really enjoying writing his POV, but <laughs> it's fine. Whereas my other main character, she has an internal struggle that is manifesting in an external like active thing <laughs> plot <laughs> uh, story he doesn't have that like manifestation so what i'm thinking is this like other kind of like b storyline i'm giving him might help like show how the internal struggle is manifesting and might also bring in more tension between what he's struggling with. Two things, <laughs> two choices he has for his life. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking that might be something. It's also like similar to like a very tiny little thread I had in my last book, which I was told by my readers that was, uh, it was not, not that it wasn't interesting. It was just <laughs> that it wasn't important to my story, but I was like, I like it. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to watch a bunch of like travel diaries and stuff on YouTube. I like basically just searched like the city where they're in and like travel diaries and I put, let me even see, I put them all on my watch later. So I'm gonna like watch them, take notes, maybe take some like descriptive notes about what these places look like and stuff. I can get a better feel for the environment that my next 
chapter is like mostly gonna be set in. I don't think a lot of my chapters are gonna be super like setting heavy, um, but this one specifically has a lot of setting work because it's kind of the first time my main character is like exploring the city and she's only gonna, <laughs> she's not gonna do it that much, but she is also kind of doing it a lot. So she's doing it more and more as the story progresses, but this is like the first time. So we're gonna need to like have a good description of what she's seeing. I've like upwards of 20 vlogs I'm going to watch and that is going to be my work for tonight. So it's not gonna be like counting tomorrow's my word count, but definitely getting me more prepared and more ready for going into my next chapter tomorrow. Because thinking about going into that chapter without anything, like it would just be like a thousand words of like mostly summary and not seen. And because of that, I wouldn't be able to like really put my best foot forward and I would just kind of do it to get it done and move on rather than like have a good solid first draft of this chapter, which is what I'm aiming for. Like I'm aiming for solid first drafts of, of these chapters and not just like being like, eh, I'll fix it later. Like I'll figure it out later. Like I'm only doing that with certain things where I'm like this one thing I know nothing about. So like I'm trying my best here <laughs> and <laughs> I kind of screwed myself with like my guy characters, like day job. I fucking, I fucked up there, but, <laughs> but I'm only trying to do it like where I need to. Other than that, I think I'm going to like make this a weekly vlog rather than a monthly vlog because I'm just thinking about, I've been watching so many writing vlogs and they are like my favorite thing in the world right now. And because I realized I am not going to be really reading this month, I know I'm sad about it too. I'm in a reading slump. I am just, <laughs> I'm just loving my nonfiction right now. <laughs> and I, I can't, I can't do the reading I was intending to do this month. So I'm just gonna like give myself the break to not have to do those videos, but to keep like the channel consistent and stuff, I think I'm gonna do this on like a weekly basis. So I would show you, should I reveal the city that my book takes place in? I don't want to. Comment down below what city you think it is. <laughs> friends. No, I'm like not wearing glasses and I'm wearing makeup. This is all, all crazy. I'm going to Sabrina Carpenter tonight. So wearing my, how old is this shirt? Like six years old. I finished writing for the night, which is good and bad, <laughs> but I finished the chapter I was writing. This was a chapter I originally thought was going to be super short. And then I was like, oh, I can do this with it. Oh, I can do this with it. I, again, I'm threading the thread in the threads. These like random other like B stories, B slash C stories in the book. One that like is not related to my character that I just wrote from. Um, but I was like, let's just sprinkle it in here. Cause then we'll like pick back up in the next chapter and like the other character will see it um, happening. So I had that. And then, and then the other is kind of like, I don't know if I told you this, but the last couple of days or like I don't know I've been kind of like in a shitty mood um which has to do with my writing and also just like my I don't want to say my environment because that sounds bad but it's just like when I am home it is hard for me to do stuff sometimes because I start thinking about stuff that I don't need to think about and that is not and that is like jeopardizing my my peace and so I did that <laughs> and I was kind of having a couple days where I was just not thinking about positive stuff. And I kind of decided to do something productive with that. Not book a therapy appointment. Why would that be me? I did that actually. I also decided to kind of be like, well, I'm going through this. I'm feeling these feelings. I've kind of been going through this for a long time. And I could make this productive by like exploring that with my one of my characters. So that's what I'm doing. So I had a little, little, little tears today uh, while I was writing, but that's fine. And I also think like one, this is like adding more to my character anyways. She doesn't need to be going through anything more, but like she is, so like that's fine. Putting her through the ringer. But yeah, I was just kind of like, I want to process this myself, but I also think that this might be a better, a better way for me to process it. But uh, like having this kind of third party way to process it might be, might be good. But also I, it's one of those things I was thinking about when I was thinking about my characters the other day, cause I was like, I feel like one one of my characters, I have like their whole family and like how, like all their family dynamics and how their family impacts them and like whatever, whatever. And then the other one I have like all her friends and her friends, how her friends like dynamics work and how that works. And I feel like they both don't have friends and family <laughs> going on at the same time. Why do they have no friends? Why do they have no family? I don't know. So I'm trying to, they, they need friends guys. So I'm working that out as well. It's just, it's all like building up their world is really important to me and in grounding the characters and, and stuff like that. So I need to work on that, but so uh, 
Anyway, this is a long story short to say I did not write as much as I've been writing lately, but I just wanted to write that chapter. I am going to a concert later, so I kind of want to like, I kind of wanted a nap, but I'm not going to. <laughs> not gonna nap. I had two coffees today. I ran four miles. It's all going good. I, I don't want to write anyway. <laughs> I don't want to write. I've just been like, uh, I've been going all different places. I'm going to my notes and like my outline and like weaving more threads through. I've been like researching stuff. I'm like, this has like a bookish influence. So I'm like looking at books that I can mention. Guys, it's crazy. I wrote 2,491 words today, bringing my total for this vlog, because I'm actually going to end the vlog here. Surprise! And I'll start again on Sunday. Um, start the next one tomorrow. But that means I'm 30% into 65,000 words. That's always like my goal for first draft of a YA contemporary. Um, I've written 18,977 words. So if I wrote like 30 more words, I'd be at 19,000. But it's fine. It's Oh, yes, I wrote eight chapters and there are so far 32 chapters in the book. So we're gonna have to speed things up next week. It's fine. Sunday was like barely a writing day. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I do hope you enjoyed it and will stay tuned for my other writing vlogs as I'm working on this draft of this book. I'm nearing the end of the first act, but I'm not done with it yet. I don't really love the first act. It's really, it's a lot of me finding my, finding my way characters finding their way and it's not fun but <laughs> it has been really fucking hard so i do hope you will like and subscribe to keep updated with the process and if you are writing something right now please let me know how it is going so i can keep updated with your process with that being said make sure to like come subscribe to all the things and i will see you in my next video bye